Hey there lambs, welcome to another animal of the day. Yesterday, we learned all about the common dolphin. We learned that those dolphins work as a team. They protect their young and they help each other find food. We also found out that they use echolocation to find their food and to communicate with each other as well. So yesterday I told you that our animal of the day for today would be someone who looked cute and cuddly, but we should never go near them. If you guessed grizzly bear, you got it right. Today we're gonna learn all about grizzly bears. The grizzly bear. One of my favorite things about living here in Reno is that I get to go visit the animal ark sometimes. And at the animal ark, there's lots of different kinds of bears to see. Now bears may look super cute and cuddly, but they're not an animal we should ever go near. It's because it's a wild animal. It's not like a dog or a cat. It's a wild animal that lives out in the wild on its own and they can be very, very aggressive. So it's not safe to go near them. We should always respect an animal's boundary. Anytime you see an animal that's acting scared or aggressive, you should always get a grown-up to help you or just stay away. Just like how you sometimes want your space respected. Have you ever just wanted to be left alone? A lot of animals feel that way and we need to respect that. All right, let's see what there is to learn about the grizzly bear. The grizzly bear got his name from the long silvery tipped hairs on the back of his shoulders. Because they're more of a silvery color, that gives him a grizzled look, hence the name grizzly bear. The grizzly is the fiercest and most aggressive of all bears. In its natural home, the grizzly has no enemies or predators. This means there aren't any animals that want to eat a grizzly bear. Grizzlies don't really travel in herds, but they don't mind being around other grizzly bears, but they're very independent animals. But they're not gonna get upset if another grizzly bear comes near them. Grizzly bears look for food in the spring and summer. They eat a whole lot during the fall because in the winter they do what is called hibernate. Have you guys ever heard the word hibernate before? To hibernate means to sleep all through the winter. This keeps them safe and healthy all through the cold season. Bears will dig special dens or caves to sleep in during the fall. On odd winter days though, when it's warm and sunny, they'll come out to get extra food. So they don't sleep the entire winter. If they think that it's warm enough, they'll come out. After the grizzlies leave their dens in spring, they're gonna obviously need food. So they go out, search for food, and then at night they go back to their dens until it's warm enough to stay out the entire time. Most grizzly cubs are born actually during the winter while the mom bear is trying to hibernate and the cubs will probably not see outside of their dens until after winter is over, so the first portion of their lives is spent in their dark, cozy den. In the springtime, the mom will take her cubs out and teach them how to find their own food and care for themselves. Young bears will stay with their mom for up to two years. Some animals leave as soon as they're born, and some stay with their parents until they're 18, like people. Bear cubs will stay with their mom for at least one whole year and possibly even two years. The grizzly is an omnivore. Do you guys know what the word omnivore means? An omnivore likes both vegetables and meat. Miss Nika doesn't eat meat, so technically I call myself a vegetarian, but that would make me a herbivore. A T-Rex who only eats meat would have been a carnivore, or a shark is a carnivore. The grizzly bear's diet includes fish, berries, nuts, roots, rodents, and occasionally other small mammals. The grizzly bear has a really good sense of smell. He can smell food from 18 miles away. Can you guys believe that? Grizzly bears are really good at catching fish. Sometimes they'll stand at the bank of a river and can flip salmon out of the water with its paw. Can you imagine, those of you that like going fishing, catching a fish with your hand? That's what a bear does. Sometimes they can even catch jumping fish with their mouths. Can you guys believe that? Grizzly bears, for the most part, live in North America. A lot of them can be found in Canada, Alaska, and our northern states here in the USA. Unfortunately, the grizzly bear is an endangered species. Do you remember what that means? That means that it's in danger of not existing anymore, kind of like how dinosaurs don't exist anymore. But don't worry, it is now a protected animal, which means that people out there are doing their best to help the grizzly population grow. So let's hope and pray that we can see many more grizzly bears in North America. Wow, this was all really cool to learn. I really like grizzly bears. I think they're an interesting animal. They're very different from the other ones we've talked about this week. If you would like, at the Lambs Class email, please email me three things you learned about the grizzly bear. And tomorrow I'll have another animal for you guys. Just a little hint. Um, I saw this very animal when I went to Australia. And he kind of looks like our friend Kaya Kangaroo, but he's not a kangaroo. Hmm, I wonder what he is. All right guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.